What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over some loot spots that I think can be helpful for you if you're trying to rank up in Zero Build Ranked. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what your favorite place to land is. So before we get into the spots themselves, I just want to go over a few things. Uh, in my previous video about Zero Build Rank, I talked about how important utility and mobility items are. I think these things are both essential in Zero Build Competitive. So in addition to just weapons, when you're looting these locations, you or like where, when you're like choosing where you want to land, you really need to consider like your likelihood of getting some of these mobility items and the utility. So katanas can be found at sword racks and also as floor loot and hollow chests. And there's also an NPC on the map that sells them at this castle here outside of citadel the odm gear can be found in the attack on titan chest as well as floor loot so as far as mobility goes the places that have guaranteed spawns like the katana racks the npc that sells them or the odm crates are going to be pretty important but also places with a lot of floor loot is also going to be super important because the more floor loot you have the more potential you have to get some of these mobility items at your location utility items like bunkers and shield bubbles can be found as floor loot and chest loot so once again places with a lot of floor loot is good oftentimes when picking a spot people just kind of look at how many chests there are but floor loot is also very important with how the game currently is this season with the mobility items just being in the guaranteed drops or floor loot in games where you don't get mobility you want to try to rotate if there's any spawns for those things like the uh, attack on titan crates or the katana spawns near where you're landing at you definitely want to check those but also hollow chests in the nearby area can be very important when it comes to potentially buying a katana this makes the key master augment very very helpful if you're able to get this augment early on in the game I would definitely recommend getting it. Not only do you have good loot potential at a hollow chest, but you ever are in a situation where you need to get mobility because you just didn't get it for whatever reason on your initial drop, then the hollow chest can actually come in very, very, very clutch. And with a lot of these more low key spots, I think a mistake that a lot of players make is that they expect to loot one of these locations and then just kind of have that be their loot for the game and this sets them up for failure they land at more of like a chill location because they don't want to like have off spawn rng really dictate the game but also when they loot like one or two houses and then just kind of hide all game in bushes or even in the houses themselves waiting for the game to play out it just rarely goes well because especially this season with how important utility and mobility are if you don't have those two things it's going to be very difficult for you to thrive in game so with these locations not only do you need to consider you know where you're landing itself but also where you're going to rotate to afterwards to potentially look for more loot or potentially look for follow-up kills and while you're landing you definitely do want to try to take into account people landing in the area nearby because they might like cut off some of your loot path or you might be able to predict where you're going to likely uh kind of interact with them on your loot path and it can make it much easier for you to get the kills if you're prepared for it so the first location we're going to talk about is going to be this mid map castle the gas station and the brutal building this is going to be pretty much the center of the map and this castle can be decently contested at the higher ranks i don't know how it is in the lower ranks but if you land at top of castle it could be pretty easy to control this area if your team has a better drop than the other duo you control the castle uh, force them down to low ground you can usually easily clean up the kills and loot this castle and then if you already have control of like the high ground at castle it can also be very easy to translate that into like uh getting opening tags on the team at gas station uh, and following that up there is an odm crate that spawns at this castle and there is hollow chest here so if you're able to get you know the odm gear from the crate maybe someone gets a katana from floor loot or maybe they can buy it from the hollow chest as well and then the gas station also dove, does have a decent amount of loot if you're landing in this area and your drop is bad you can maybe veer off and try to loot gas station but if you're choosing you know where to actually land at for this kind of split drop i definitely think the castle is the case uh, the best thing to do if you are completely unconned you can kind of split like one castle and one gas but i feel like that is very unlikely to happen and then there also is this brutal building nearby that you could land at and then maybe pad up to the top of the castle if your drop isn't the best or if you just kind of want to avoid some of the super early game castle rng this brutal building isn't going to be as conned so you could land there and then catch good timing on the people at castle as they fight 
And then from this location, what you're probably going to want to do is rotate down towards the racetrack because there are katana spawns at a dueling ring over there. Racetrack is usually a very chaotic area for whatever reason. So oftentimes, if you loot your castle quickly and you don't see anything gas, you could just go to racetrack and try to clean up there and hopefully get the katanas because it's unlikely these katanas are just going to be ignored. People will land on them. So you could... Get castle, third party racetrack, hopefully the people that got the katana spawns are still there and then you can just take it from them. Uh, and you also, you know, probably have a few kills at that point as well. Again, like I said earlier, you don't want to just like land castle and camp it. Land castle and then translate that into hopefully getting decent timing on another location if you are able to do it quickly. This dojo building on the far right side of the map has a guaranteed katana spawn and an attack on titan crate. And also just has a solid amount of loot for a duo. And there's even more katana spawns at the bottom of the hill. And then little islands that you can loot on the far right side. Or you could go to the left side. There's some loot in between you and uh, racetrack. And you could do kind of the same thing that I just talked about. You know, land at this dojo loot up and then go to racetrack to third party it because there typically is a decent amount of people fighting there and not only is there a decent amount of people fighting there, there's a decent amount of places that rotate to it as you can see from the first two locations i talked about in this video they both probably can get decent timing on racetrack if you are uncontested on them really like this place for solos it's gonna be like questionable the amount of loot you could get for duos but like i said there are the islands on the far right side if you are more desperate for loot or if you're happy with your loot you can kind of just go towards racetrack and hopefully get decent timing on that another solid location that i feel like is really underrated is going to be this outskirts brutal building in the snow biome uh these usually won't be super contested and there's an okay amount of loot for a duo at this main one that has an attack on titan crate so not only do you have an attack on titan crate you have a decent amount of loot for a duo but there's also a launch pad on this brutal building and more brutal buildings in the area or you could just launch pad to some of the houses that are on like the left side of it the frozen ice lake like anything around here if you loot up at this brutal building if you're uncontested you could probably pad to it and then get decent timing on fights there even if you wanted to try to pad to one of the other outskirts of brutal buildings and then maybe pad the brutal from there you might be able to get solid timing on that as well depending on how it plays out sometimes the fights at brutal bastion can go long because of all the launch pads in the area it can be easy for some players to buy time so you have a lot of options from this location and i also feel it's like a decent amount of loot another location i really like is going to be this mansion here i actually land here a solid amount for solos and it is a very common location but you do get a solid amount of loot. There's an attack on Titan crate. There's lots of coolers here, which is nice. There's hollow chests. And it usually won't be uncontested. Uh, there's usually a duo or two going here. But one of the nice things is that if you're decent at dropping this location and fighting it, it can be very easy for you just to get several off spawn kills every game. Because if your drop is just always better, if you're very good at landing at this location, it's usually going to be free kills uh, for you on the other players that land here so this mansion is good and then you also have a lot of options from here there's outskirts buildings on like the left side of the map more like towards shattered there's more farm buildings there's more farm buildings on like the the bottom part of the map near you and then you could also just go into frenzy if you're happy with your loot and want to go to a more chaotic spot so not only is the mansion itself good loot and like good like guaranteed heal potential on all the coolers which is nice but also you have a lot of options from here which does make it really nice as well and a guaranteed attack on titan crate which you can hopefully get odm gear from one of the most underrated spots i think in the game right now is going to be long shot castle on the far left side of the map it's a very good in zero build i think there's two attack on titan crates that spawn here and a third one nearby up the road if you want to go there and that third one often will not be hit because there's such a minuscule amount of loot on that area above you that you can loot after looting this castle uh you can loot that but i feel like it's unlikely that it's going to be taken from you already and then long shot is here and for some reason ranked you can hire npcs so long shot is a sniper that will shoot and mark people for you at the higher level i probably wouldn't recommend doing this because it's just going to give your location away and getting decent timing on other teams is very important in zero build ranked but also, like, long shot will give your location away because you might shoot early, but also other people are more likely to see you because you have long shot traveling around with you. But one of the more interesting things you can do is you can dismiss him and then buy shield reveal or storm reveals, sorry, from him. He'll show you the next zone. And then you can rehire him completely for free. So you will have to pay for the zone reveals. But once you hire him once, you don't have to hire him again if you do dismiss him and decide to buy these uh 
storm reveals so it's like pretty crazy how much value you can get from him and in the lower level lobbies like gold and under i i think that you probably could get a decent amount of value out of long shot just because not every player is going to be comfortable enough with the game to just immediately know okay that's an npc i gotta ignore it. it doesn't really matter so i think long shot castle is good even if you ignore long shot and you don't care about him at all uh two attack on titan crates and a decent amount of loot in a somewhat secluded area i think is really solid and while it is on the edge of the map you don't really have to worry about that as much this season because storm is a one tick up until like fifth zone the final place we're going to talk about is going to be breakwater and, and breakwater outskirts these buildings on the outskirts of breakwater can be an okay start there is an attack on titan crate in one of them but what is super close is the npc that sells the katana and this spot is like really nice to land at get a decent amount of loot not like i said you're not going to win the game off the loot you get here but it can be an okay starting place maybe you get odm gear maybe you get lucky and one of you gets a katana floor loot and then you can maybe third party brutal to get even more loot or you can kind of go to some of the other houses that are in this area and kind of loot your way towards the castle where the lady sells katanas you have a decent amount of options here and for the amount of people that go in the area the area around brutal is like for some reason decently populated from what i've played in like high diamond lobbies but even like even in high diamond lobbies it's pretty con by like even some unreal players i encounter there but also like this can be free kills for you you know if you land at your location you get decent loot and there's a lot of shambles player in in the area you can usually mop up those kills really easily so while it is kind of chaotic sometimes it can be like chaotic in a good way if you're the one that has like early game fighting loot it's kind of like what i was talking about with the racetrack area as well if you loot up castle or you loot up the right side dojo and then get there at a decent time it's gonna be very easy for you to get a solid amount of kills there but that is gonna be it for this video hopefully these spots were helpful also in the description down below fortnite Dot gg will be linked this is a website that shows you where all the loot is on the map and you can kind of choose to have it show like some things rather than other things uh and you can you can make it easy for you to find like a potential drop spot for you and your teammate to land at if you don't like any of the ones that i talked about here but that is gonna be it i hope you guys found this helpful or informative if you did remember to give a like subscribe if you like see more and comment down below where you like to land and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching